Hi, my name is Siwam Koboza. I'm 22 years old and I'm a BA Fine Art graduate from the Michaelis School of Fine Art. Uh, I majored in painting, but I don't actually paint. I work across multiple disciplines of photography, collage, sculpture, and a bit of printmaking. Uh, this body of work I developed for my graduate exhibition is entitled uh, Africadia and African Arcadia. And it's about this alternate land, which is essentially a future space that I escaped to. And it's a place where I am able to express myself in the ways that I can't in everyday life. So every time I'm in my studio, I travel to this land called Africadia, and it's essentially where the work is rooted. The reason behind creating such a land was, you know, I'm, what it really comes down to is I'm trying to escape. Great. I'm trying to find a way whereby I can avoid conversations about race, about sexuality and about gender. And it's about this neutral space whereby you and I are equals and the things that make us individuals are no longer there, therefore I can't... I can't judge you, I can't be prejudiced against you because we all look extraordinarily weird, hence all these fantastical and weird characters, they all these a hybrid of animal, human and nature. And the reason for all of that, it comes down to this, in modern day Africa there are several countries which have banned homosexuality, there's xenophobia, there's all of these race, gender, sexuality based violences which occur, which occur every day and most people look past it because obviously you're a minority whether it's through your race, your gender, or your sexuality sure. and I kind of imagined this land where those things were no longer important hence why the characters are multicolored there's no... This, the, the sense of I no longer exists and it, it begins this conversation about us a we I was actually born in Cape Town in 1993. Uh, I moved away to Joburg, to Pretoria actually, for a short while. And then after that, I lived in Lima, in Peru, in South America. I spent about six years there. And then I lived in Warsaw, in Poland. And it was only in 2012 that I came back to South Africa to begin this degree. Interesting. So again, the work deals with this insider, outsider, and coming back home, but having this Western upbringing, and how, essentially, how do I merge those two worlds? I think something mm. that I felt quite important when I started this project, it was, what is this body that I'm bringing to the fore? Mm. Is it a black body? Is it a white body? Is it, what kind of body is it? Hence, this hybridity and this... Mm clash and all of these fusion. I wanted to bring by a body which had no longer, I mean, that had not been brought to the fore before. I mean, we have always seen uh, white nudes by great uh, white male artists. We have seen the black female nude quite a lot in the 80s and the mm -hmm. 70s. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, now, what is this new body that's gonna come to the fore? Because we've pretty much, yeah, we've exhausted the every kind of body that Agreed. we see. I'm essentially I'm trying to define a new culture. Absolutely. I want to break the stereotype. Hence the caricatures you created. I want, to, I want to completely disrupt what this this assumption has been for such a long time. And and now and it's what's also what I'm really liking is that I'm it, I'm not breaking it as an outsider. No, it's something that was not exactly created for my people, which also has a very fascinating history, but it's something that's been adapted and taken by such pride. Absolutely. I mean, the specific, specifically Shreshwe in um, yes. South African traditions, it's one that's worn by women for, of great pride. Absolutely correct. And when you see these people wearing this and they have, it's it's not necessarily there, it's inappropriate, but they Correct. identify with it so much and they wear it with pride. I was fascinated with that and I thought about it in terms of this, this kind of psychological therapy of 
you, you're not holding on to things and instead you, you, are, you are being. Absolutely. And that's what I call the characters here. They're not people, Absolutely. they're not males, they're not females, they're beings.